you know, sex before a race has been a, a, an arguable debate by every male and female athlete for years, and and I, uh, on my front, I I like to go a couple of days without pre-race. I get agitated. I, I think that agitation is good for for many guys. I think that it, it you know, it's like as a guy after a session every now and then, you're like, ah, oh, stuff it. I can't be doing bother doing anything, and I don't want that mindset. I like that agitation. I also like annoying myself with depriving myself of things that will agitate me that I can unleash on race day. You know, those little things give you the edge sometimes. They might mean nothing scientifically, but just that agitation and that and that mindset can, can be an edge. For women, it can be different. I know a few world championship winning women triathletes in short course racing that went on to win world titles after a session um, the night before. So I think it, it depends on the sport. It depends on how how sex, I guess, fits into your lifestyle to some degree. If it's a, um, you know, if you don't get it, you get agitated as a male. I think that can be a good thing. If you, if you, if it agitates you to to have it, then maybe that's a good thing. So, yeah, it depends on how, how, what sport it is. Depends how it works within your your psyche, and uh, it depends on the individual. I know, uh, as I said, for some people it it's been successful. For others, it's, it hasn't been, and uh, and I'm all for abstinence for at least a couple of nights for no other reason than I feel like I want to punch heads in and that's a good thing uh, come race day.